So I want to lead off the event by introducing one of the most important and hardest working advocates for small business in the Central Texas region. A, for, a former strategic development manager in the Governor's Economic Development Office and the recipient of the 2023 Women, Woman of the Year Award presented by the Round Rock Living Magazine. Jordan Robinson is the president and CEO of the Round Rock Chamber, having joined the organization in 2020 as the vice president of economic development. Prior to joining the Round Rock Chamber, Chamber, she was the senior director of regional economic development for the Greater Houston Partnership, which serves as an 11 county regional economic development corporation for the Greater Houston area. With a distinguished background in economic development and tourism, marketing for cities, states, and regions across the globe, Jordan uses her vast experience to provide leadership on the boards of the Round Rock ISD Partners in Education Foundation, the Central Texas Foreign Trade Zone, and the Williamson County Economic Development Awards Partnership, among others. A graduate of Baylor University with a degree in journalism and a concentration in marketing and strategic planning, she was a recipient of the 2021 International 40 Under 40 Economic Development Award, which recognizes rising stars in the economic development industry. Please help me welcome Jordan Robinson to the podium. So again, my name is Jordan Robinson. I the, have the pleasure of serving as the president and CEO of the Round Rock Chamber. Again, it is my tremendous honor to welcome all of you to Round Rock. For those of you who this might be your first time attending one of these events, the governor's office actually hosts 15 of these across the state. So if you do the math, that's more than one a month. Um, and so we are very, very fortunate. You know, They have a, a number of locations to choose from and we're very proud to be hosting this in Round Rock on behalf of the Central Texas region. I also want to say thank you to the beautiful Kalahari Resorts and Conventions uh, for hosting us today. Uh, if this is your first time to Kalahari, we definitely encourage you to come back, check out the water park, all the fun things on the other side. Uh, we are really, truly fortunate to have an asset like Kalahari here in Round Rock. Uh, the place truly does have a, a way of bringing people to our community, but also bringing people together. And so again, we're very happy to have you all here today. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the Round Rock Chamber, we also serve as the Economic Development Corporation on behalf of our community, and that's in par uh, public-private partnership with our city of Round Rock. So yes, Round Rock has experienced tremendous economic development success. Um, if you think about major employers like Dell, Emerson, even Kalahari, um, again, Round Rock really is on the map for some of these larger companies. However, we do fully understand that it's the small business community that really is the cornerstone um, of our community. You create jobs, it's the diversity of the small businesses in our region that continue to drive our local economy forward. And so for that reason, we feel it is vital to support the small business community and make sure that you all have the resources to thrive and grow. So we've got a really exciting program ahead uh, for you today. Uh, so to the entrepreneurs, small business owners, leaders of your uh, companies, this is really an excellent opportunity to share insights, learn from experts. We've got a great lineup of speakers uh, this afternoon. Um, and then really to learn from each other and network. So again, today is about building relationships, identifying resources, um, whether you're looking to start your business, scale your business, simply improve the operations of your business. Uh, we think there's really something here for everybody today. So in addition to um, the amazing content today, I do wanna give a shout out to all of our resource partners in the back. Uh, please make sure you come back and visit them. They have a tremendous amount of tools that will enable you to be successful and we want you to get to know and to meet every single one of them. So before we dive in, I do wanna say thank you uh, to a few uh, groups and individuals. Uh, first and foremost, thank you to the governor's office and to the Texas Workforce Commission. Again, myself and actually several members of our team at the Round Rock Chamber, our former employees of the governor's office of economic development, actually had the privilege of physically sitting alongside the team that hosts these events every single month, and truly the amount of work that goes into it um, is admirable. So it was a lot of fun to kind of be on this side and get to partner with the governor's office, so thank you all uh, for your great partnership. I also wanna say and recognize a couple elected officials that I saw in the room. It's really the elected officials here that are helping to maintain our strong business climate in Central Texas that enables all of you to grow and, and be successful. I won't make you stand up, but maybe raise your hand. I know we have from Round Rock Council Member Renee Flores and Council Member Michelle Lee. So can we give them a round of applause for being here? Thank you all. And then lastly, uh, I do wanna recognize our sponsors again. We would not be able to do this without the support of our sponsors. Uh, so thank you to Truist, Hill Country Payroll, No Time for Social, Focal Business Point Coaching, and R Bank. 
Um, I will say every single one of these uh, sponsors are more than a sponsor. They are truly partners in our organization and partners in our community. Uh, so please meet them and get to know them and thank them for their contributions today. So lastly, um, I see a lot of new faces in the room, which is exciting, and I probably wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't do a small plug for the Round Rock Chamber. Um, so for those of you who are not involved already in the Round Rock Chamber, I encourage you, please come talk to us and take full advantage of what our organization can offer your business. We offer a variety of programs and resources tailored to the needs of your business. So whether you're looking for networking opportunities, educational programs, business advocacy and representation, we're very active at the state, federal, and local levels. Um, business and workforce development resources, just visibility and promotion if you're wanting to um, get new customers, it's, it's a great opportunity to, to be front-facing in the community. Whether you're looking for support uh, as an entrepreneur, a startup, or a founder, or just generally wanting to support our economic development efforts, we really do have something for everybody. Um, your support and involvement is really critical to the success of our organization, but also to the success of our local economy um, and our region. So again, please come talk to us. We have a table in the back as well. We'd love for you to come meet our amazing staff that's all here, um, helping put this event on as well. And if you need a little incentive, we've got a really cool raffle prize. So um, come and see us and talk to us. We'd love, to, uh, love for you to get involved. So with that, I would like to invite Brian back up, I believe, to introduce our next speaker. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you for having us. And one thing I would like to do is, can I have your entire staff please stand up so we can recognize them? Because without them, we could not have put this together. So thank you very much for the Round Rock Chamber staff. Thank you. Our next, our next speaker is Commissioner Joe Esparza. Mr. Esparza currently serves as the commissioner representing employers for the Texas Workforce Commission. Having been appointed by Governor Abbott to the three-member commission in November of 2023, in his role, Commissioner Esparza serves as an advocate for over 660,000 Texas employers and over 3 million small businesses. He and his team serve as a key resource for all Texas employers to help businesses grow and thrive in Texas. Prior to his, his appointment, uh, Commissioner Esparza was sworn in as a Texas Deputy Secretary of State in 2018, having previ previously served in other roles in Governor Abbott's administration since 2012. He's a graduate of Texas Tech University and received an honorable discharge from the United States Marine Corps, serving from 1999 to 2007. Thank you for your service. Please wel help me welcome Commissioner Joe Esparza to the podium. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you all. Uh, thank you all for being here. I'm very excited to come here today. Um, this is a great opportunity, as they were saying, uh, to, to, to really kind of work together, uh, work, with, uh, work, work with your neighbors, your networks, and, and obviously with, with the governor's office and, and the state, state government here. And I, I like to say that these kind of events are, are, you know, short of, you know, receiving a tax break or, you know, a tax refund. This is one thing that you can kind of get back from your government, you know, to make sure that these resources that are available to you are, 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 are that you're aware of them, that you're utilizing them. Because again, it's it, it's not my money, y'all. It's it's your money. That's what we like to say. With you know, when we 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 push out these grants, they they like like to say, Commissioner, thanks for these grants that we've done. I'm like, it's not my money. You know, <laughs> it's y'all's money. So, uh, but we really appreciate it. I have a great opportunity uh, to to be here with you today. Um, I enjoy coming to these uh, these events, these these small business summits, um, because we personally, the office that that I that I serve in. Um, is the commissioner that represents employers. So we have an active role with employers in all of the 28 different workforce development groups all across the state. Um, we definitely have initiatives that we work with. Uh, we've got you know grants that we, we try to push and, and get employers engaged in uh, as they work with training partners in the community like, like here at TSTC and you know ACC campuses around here. So um, it's a great opportunity for us to introduce you to, to, to part of those, those resources. And our office specifically uh, provides a great resource, and we'll, we'll get into that. But um, I'm also excited to be here because this is kind of my home territory. Obviously, I've, I, work at, I work at the Capitol in Austin. Uh, I, live, I live in Elgin, and, um, you know, this is the, our, our region here, our, our workforce development region, um, hosted, uh, led by Paul Fletcher and his staff at the rural Texas, or excuse me, rural capital area workforce. Um, so I'm all the, we're always up and down between here and, and Georgetown. 
Um, also, since it is kind of the home turf, we, we, we've, we've got my staff at, the, uh, at our employer's office that are here, here with us today, as, as well as my lovely wife, um, we, who, who we, which we just married on Friday. We, we married twice. We've been married a year. Uh, just got in our church, our church wedding on Friday. So um, she's here. She's also a small business holder. Yeah. Let's give it. She's shaking her head. Uh, she's, she's the one over there in the, in the zebra print, so she got the theme of the Kalahari. Um, but she is a small business, uh, you know, she owns a small business in Georgetown, um, a hair salon there right by the, by the pool on Williams, uh, Williams Avenue, and she cuts my hair, so if anybody needs a salon and hairdresser, go, go see Amy, that's my shameless plug. Um, most importantly, as the employer that represents, or excuse me, the commissioner that represents employer, uh, one of the big things I want to talk to you about is, 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 is something that, that we always want to make sure that we're supporting the workforce development system. Uh, as employers, depending on the number of employees that you have, it's, it's, it's our opportunity and, and our duty to, to, to make sure that we're taking care of our workforce. Um, this is not only just in good business, you know, uh, this is not only good business, but, but it, it, it helps you in the long run. Um, a lot of the priorities that we push uh, it, it through our office, we, we have five major initiatives, uh, but we have a, we've got, we've got five great employment law attorneys that have staffed our office, one of which has probably the most knowledge of unemployment law um, in the state of Texas. Um, he, he literally wrote a book, and you can download it. It's a PDF. It's a great book. You should get it. Uh, it's the Guidebook for Employers, and that's part of one of the resources that we provide. Um, but basically what they're there for, in a, lot of, in a lot of cases, small businesses don't always have an HR department. We don't have a full HR department staff to take care of, you know, the, the, the 20, the, the 5, the 20, to the 100 um, employees that you may have. We, we provide this service, not, not exactly the full HR, but we provide uh, assistance and we serve as a resource. So these attorneys are available by phone uh, during business hours. You can send an email to them, you know, anytime you, anytime you want. Um, and, and they're great with customer service. I hear, hear Tommy Simmons always answering the phone in a great, cheerful manner and walking somebody through an inherent, you know, you know, trying to avoid a problem. In the long run, these basically what we're talking about is unemployment insurance. Uh, so unemployment, unemployment insurance is basically joint federal uh, temporary benefits program uh, that helps with partial uh, income to replace folks that have separated through through no fault of their own. That's the definition. I just read you the definition. Um, but the main key is through no fault of their own. So there was something that happened where they were separated, and now they're going to they're gonna access benefits. So what that does in turn, um, you as a business, probably well aware, you pay, into the, the, you pay into this fund, and after a number of those issues, your, 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 your tax burden may increase. We want to help to prevent that tax burden from, incre uh, from increasing. So we want to make sure that you have a resource. Not in, you don't have you know, your HR department, but you have a resource in us that you can come and ask questions. Um, you can literally take the book and, and turn out your program uh, page by page on this, uh, you know, on this, uh, um, this, this process so that you're taking care of your employees and you're saving yourselves some tax dollars. So we do this by hosting, much similar to this, this conference, we host the Texas Conference for Employers. Um, this is about 12, 16 to 18 conferences, small, medium, and large metropolitan areas across the state. As a matter of fact, I'm jumping off stage and headed to Lubbock for one tomorrow morning. Um, and if, if you leave it after five, you, you may be able to make it, but, but don't all register for that and head up to Lubbock with me just yet. Uh, we do have one here locally in, in Austin, in the Austin area. I think it's, it's either August 9th or September 9th, but you can totally check that out. You, you take up your Google machine and Google Texas Conference for Employers and you'll get the, uh, you'll get the schedule. This is a full day with our attorneys. Uh, this is a full day of them educating you on how to classify your workers. Um, how to how to basically you know help them through you know W twos to HR onboarding and offboarding issues that, that may come up and then you can just ask them random questions that, that you're probably seeing currently right now I, I think that's one of the biggest resources that we provide and I'm very proud of that uh, and I'm proud that we 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 have that and we're we're, we're pushing that um, they're they're a lot of fun we get to talk to a lot of employers and and all the cases that come up are, are pretty wild there, there's some there's always cases. Uh, I mentioned the employer hotline, and as a, as for a resource, well, I'm gonna, we we leave these pamphlets. Um, hey, Colin, can you can you wave your hand? 
our guys over there from uh, our workforce development systems, Colin, um, he, he takes care of a lot of uh, Office for Employer initiatives and stuff, so grants, it, it, he's well, those folks are a wealth of, of knowledge on the grants that we'll talk about here, but we've got this little handout that has all this information, gives you the, the hotline number and, and all the newsletter stuff, so uh, we also provide that guidebook, which you can download or you can pick up, you just swing by the office, we'll give you one. Um, and then um, we also push initiatives uh, for, for newsletters and, and uh, uh, things that kind of kind of pester you with good information that keep you, you know, keep, keep it on the front of your mind. So, uh, but with that, I think that, that really kind of sums up the, 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 the main resources we provide. Um, again, most of our initiatives, we represent 660,000 uh, employers in the state of Texas and, and 300, uh, excuse me, 3.6 million small businesses that make up the backbone of our economy. So, I mean, this is, a, as, as, as every network that you can imagine, this is the reason why we are the eighth largest economy in the state of Texas. That's something the governor, um, all your all your economic development corporations um, have, have that to stand on, and they're, do, they're doing great jobs. There's a lot of continuity and a lot of connectivity with our chambers and, and to our Round Rock uh, Round Rock Chambers that are here today. Thank you all for, for hosting this here. Um, we, I try to shop local as much as possible. I know a lot of money has gone into Round Rock, the, the Living Waters Fly Shop for me personally. It's been right over the road. Chris Johnson, their family, they, they're, they're, they're great with the community. And, and all that money also is spent by the business that he, he goes and buys Round Rock donuts all the time. So it's like, you know, if you, we're always sharing the money, sharing it and spreading it around too. So, um, Always want to make sure that, that we're supporting our small businesses, that we continue to push, that we're continuing to engage the, the, the employers with the uh, training providers and making sure that they're connected into that, that network of uh, our workforce development. So we're, as you know, we're only growing. We're going to continue to grow. We've had, I think, 46 months of continuous job growth in the state of Texas. Um, so it's, 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 it's a, you know, it's, the iron's hot, right? So we got we to do what we can while, 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 while money's high. So we appreciate all that y'all do. Give us a call. Contact us with anything y'all need, especially, you know, like I said, in that HR area. Um, but even if y'all have any good ideas or if there's something that y'all see that, that, the, the, that your local community would need, work through me, work through Paul Fletcher, and, uh, um, and for those of you in Austin, Tamara Atkinson in, in, uh, um, in, at, the, at the Capital Area Workforce Development Board. So... With that, thank y'all so much. I'm I'm off I'm off back to Lubbock, and and uh, we'll probably hopefully see y'all in either September or August 9th. Somebody can tell me on that. Uh, <laughs> but thank y'all again. Uh, that's all I have to tell you, and, and hope y'all have a great rest of the day, and hope y'all get a lot of networking done, and and, and get get all those resources and use them up. Thank you. Commissioner Esparza, thank you again for joining us today. Also, thank you for Texas Workforce Commission's support of our programs uh, for small businesses around the state. Uh, at this time, I'd like to invite a member of our leadership team from the Texas Economic Development and Tourism Office to the stage. Annie Dennis is the Deputy Director of Business and Community Development responsible for assisting the Director of BCD with the management of existing industry, small business, international, marketing, and research teams with specific oversight of the business recruitment and community relations team. Annie has 11 years of economic development experience, including the last five with the Texas Governor's Office. Prior to joining the EDT, she spent six years in Washington, D.C. in international economic development. She holds a master's degree in international administration policy and intelligence analysis from the Joseph Corbel School of International Studies in Denver, Colorado. As part of this degree program, she served for two years as a Peace Corps volunteer working with the internally displaced persons in the nation of Georgia. Please help me welcome Annie Dennis to the stage. Thank you, Brian. Y'all, I love my team, and I love them especially today because I mistakenly put a headshot of myself from about eight years ago in our folders, and they pulled it out, <laughs> obviously thinking I still look like that, but y'all, I've had a baby since then. I haven't slept since I had that baby, and I, I do have, <laughs> I do have a more accurate headshot. So we'll be updating that for uh, our next, our next conference. Um, but thank you, Brian. As mentioned, my name is Annie Dennis, and it is my privilege to welcome you on behalf of the Texas Governor's Office of Economic Development and Tourism to our Small Business Summit here in Round Rock. Now, I am obviously not a small business owner, but I am married to one, and I was lucky to have met him after the startup phase 
long after he and his partner were no longer living in their office. But I do experience with him on a daily basis the highs and lows, the struggles and the rewards of business ownership, and I understand the courage and creativity it takes to start and continually grow a business. And thank God we live in Texas, where that get up and go spirit of tenacity is just a part of our culture. There are so many entrepreneurially minded individuals like those of you in the room today, folks who had a vision to create something of their own, who dug deep, made sacrifices, and remained resilient. And as a result, are now not only reaping the rewards of their labor, but also able to give back in a major way. They're creating jobs so that others can provide for their families and are making numerous positive impacts in their communities and beyond. So I just wanna say, we at the state know this journey is challenging. It has been especially so in the last few years, but we thank you for taking it on. We know how rewarding it can be and we're excited for you. So that's why we're here today, to do what we can to support you in this journey by bringing together timely information and relevant resources to help you pursue your dream. And there have been so many different groups and individuals involved in putting this conference together. I just want to take a moment to thank them. So first of all, I would like to thank our partners, the Round Rock Chamber of Commerce, for inviting us into your community and supporting our efforts to assist local entrepreneurs and small business owners. And the Texas Workforce Commission for supporting our efforts to take this programming statewide. And thank you to our community sponsors, Truist Bank, Hill Country Payroll, No Time for Social, Focal Point Business Coaching, and Our Bank for your generous financial support in providing this afternoon's lunch and beverage service. I would also like to thank uh, and recognize our Governor's Office small business team members that work to put this event together and are here to assist you. So Jarvis Brewer, where are you? In the back there, he's our Texas small business advocate. Brian Roller, well, everybody's seen him, but Brian Roller, our business assistant specialist and event coordinator. Um, and then the two newest members of our team, Sandra Sanchez and David Manchaca Garcia, right there in the back. Uh, they are both our business assistant specialists. Um, and then finally, I wanna thank and recognize our resource provider partners. These are the folks sitting at the, the tables in the back. Um, and these are the folks that have services and resources for you. Um, and we're gonna list their names here on the screen so you know who they are. Um, but please take time to network with them. Does that mean my time's up? <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you all again. Um, and now a few words from our governor. I'm done. Good. All right. Thank you. Hi, this is Governor Greg Abbott. Welcome to the Governor's Small Business Summit. And thank everybody for being part of this exciting event. The more than 3 million small businesses in our great state are the backbone of the great Texas economy. Thanks to small businesses, Texas leads the nation in economic expansion. And we are the number one state for job creation in 2023. Texas is also a top state for women, minority, and veteran-owned businesses. And we lead the nation in small business growth. Men and women willing to take a risk, dig deep into their own pockets, and stake their future on an idea have long written the story of Texas. That pioneering spirit still fuels our shared prosperity today. Together, we are all building a bigger, better Texas for the next generation. May God bless you all, and may God forever bless the great state of Texas.